Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hope so you are well and enjoying your vacations. Um, today um, we are going to talk about the sentence, phrase and clause. Uh, before going to the before going to the sentence, uh, first we will uh, study about the phrase and the clause. So, here is an example like my best friend and John is my best friend. Can you see? Both have words. My best friend is also a group of word and John is my best friend. This is also a set of or a group of words. Okay. Now, what's the difference between the phrase and the clause? We will read this. Okay. So, one is phrase and one is clause. How will we differentiate that which one is phrase and which one is clause? So, for phrase, we have no idea about a subject. We don't have any idea about a verb. Means in phrase, we don't have any subject. Or any verb in clause we have a subject and a verb this is the main difference in phrase we don't have a subject and in clause we have a subject in phrase we don't have a verb and in clause we have a verb okay so phrase has no subject plus verb and clause has a subject and a verb Okay, so here is my best friend, my best friend, my best friend. So here isn't any subject, here isn't any verb, verb means doing word, subject means any noun, okay, noun. And here is, so my best friend is your phrase, John is my best friend, John is a subject, is, is a verb. And my best friend say phrase it's meaningless phrase is meaningless it doesn't have any meaning while in clause clause will give you a whole meaning it will give you a whole meaning like my best friend who is my best friend what do you mean by my best friend we don't have any idea about this thing so for phrase we have no meaning we have no subject we haven't any verb okay and in clause we will have um we will um there will be a subject there will be a verb and it will give you a full sense okay it will it will give you a full meaning in a sentence like john is my friend john mera bahut acha dost hai say the next thing is okay Phrase is my best friend and clause is your John is my best friend. Then what is phrase? Phrase is a group of words which doesn't have any subject, any verb, okay? No subject verb combination and no meaning if used alone. If it is used alone, then there won't there won't be any meaning like the sports car the sports car to watch a movie see group of words no subject to verb combination no meaning if used alone example is the sports car to watch a movie a tall tree a tall tree comfortable bed comfortable bed like this so phrase is a group of word having no subject or verb combination and it it hasn't any meaning if used alone okay for example the sports car to watch a movie in the house on the tree etc okay on the table on the table so here isn't any subject here isn't any verb 
and here isn't any full meaning so this one is your phrase then what is clause clause is a group of words having subject and verb combination group of words having subject and verb combination and it will give you complete meaning it itself have complete meaning okay so clause is a group of words sub having subject and verb combination and it will give you a complete meaning by itself we can divide clause into two types one is independent clause one is dependent clause okay independent independent means jo kisi cheez pe munhasir na ho independent clause it will give you a complete sense okay dependent it won't give you a full meaning jab tak iske sath koi dusra sentence nahi milaoge aapko koi bhi sense nahi milega independent ko agar aap akele bhi use karte ho to usse aapko meaning mil sakta hai डिपेंडेंट को अगर आप अकेले यूज करते हो तो उसकी मीनिंग नहीं होगी सही है ये हमेशा डिपेंड करेगा किसी और सेंटेंस पे फॉर एग्जांपल लाइक सी इंडिपेंडेंट इज अ कंप्लीट सेंटेंस इट विल गिव यू अ कंप्लीट मीनिंग लाइक यू वर इन द पार्टी सॉरी 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 इंडिपेंडेंट इज इट विल गिव यू अ कंप्लीट सेंटेंस डिपेंडेंट डजेंट कन्वे फुल मीनिंग इन कंप्लीट सेंटेंस डिपेंडेंट विल ऑलवेज नीड अनदर सेंटेंस और अनदर ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स टू कम्प्लीट इट सेल्फ टू गिव यू अ फुल मीनिंग एंड इंडिपेंडेंट इट विल गिव यू अ कम्प्लीट सेंस अ कम्प्लीट मीनिंग इफ इट इज यूज अलॉन ओके लाइक यू वर इन द पार्टी यू वर इन द पार्टी सी वी हैव अ सब्जेक्ट वी हैव अ वर्ब यू वर इन द पार्टी इफ आई रिमूव दिस थिंग सी in the party in the party in the party is your phrase then okay and if we are putting you were in the party so you were in the party means this is a clause this is a clause you were in the party a party mein the agar iske sath hum koi aur sentence mix up bhi nahi karte to koi masla nahi hai ye hame sense de raha hai sahi hai then is when i came home when I came home जब मैं घर आया Now this is dependent. It need another sentence. It needs another sentence to complete itself. So I will use it like this. When I came home, you were in the party. See? When I came home, when I came home, you were in the party. When I came home. you were in the party if i remove this thing you were in the party if i remove this thing you were in the party it will give you a whole meaning if i remove this one part when i came home so it's meaningless and both when i came home you were in the party it will give you the whole sense the whole sen sense of a sentence the whole meaning so this one is a clause okay this one is the independent clause this one is the dependent clause and they both will combine and will give you a clause a sense of clause and sometimes we are also using a conjunction 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 is a joining word linking words okay jo ek phrase ko dusre phrase ke sath uh, sorry jo ek clause ko dusre clause ke sath jo hai wo link karta hai aur usko ek sentence ke shape mein aapko present karta hai see this one is a dependent clause and this one is the independent clause independent clause dependent clause okay then next is examples the one with the green is the dependent clause and the one with the pink is the independent clause like before you go to bed before you go to bed if i remove this see before you go to bed what you should do before you go to bed 
so it needs another clause another group of word to complete itself and we are adding you have to finish your homework if i remove this still it will give us a sense you have to finish your homework aapne apna homework khatam karna hi hai sahi hai and if i remove this before you go to bed बेड जाने से पहले सोने से पहले आपने क्या करना है वो हमें नहीं पता सही है सो डिपेंड डिपेंडेंट जो डिपेंडेंट सेंटेंस होता है इट विल ऑलवेज नीड अनदर ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड टू कंप्लीट इट सेल्फ ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज आफ्टर मंथ्स ऑफ रिसर्च ही फाइनली फिनिश्ड हिज नॉवल आफ्टर मंथ्स ऑफ रिसर्च ही फाइनली फिनिश्ड हिज नॉवल After months of research, this is your dependent clause, and he finally finished his novel. This is your independent clause. Okay, he finally finished his novel. It will give you the whole sense, but after months of research, it won't give you any sense. Okay, example, my best friend, and again that. So, hope so you got this. And the next we will study in your booklet. and i uh, i had um, given that in a bit um, descriptive form in your booklet hopefully you will get this and that uh, easily okay so uh, let me give it a brief read we have study about phrase and clause phrase has no subject and no verb clause has a subject and a ver- verb then for example my best friend my best friend is a phrase because it doesn't have any subject any verb and john is my best friend so this one is a clause because it has a subject and it has a verb then we have studied that we can divide clause into two types one is a dependent clause and the another one is the independent clause dependent clause dependent clause it won't give you any sentence any meaning in a sentence okay it won't give you any meaning alone while in while independent sentence it will give you a complete sense when you are using it alone okay and dependent sentence is when um, it will always need another group of word to complete itself okay see So it's all about the phrase and the clause, and um, in the next video we will discuss about your booklet, first term booklet. Okay, so take care. Love is.